All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I study my demographic from the beginning, uh, depending on the pay per call offer that I'm working on. In this case, in this example, in this blog post, I'm showing you how to do uh, research essentially on plumbers and the plumber niche. So, what I normally do is instead of uh, going out and trying to tackle the entire United States all at once, I try to uh, do it locally. I try to look at uh, actual in, say, a particular city, and then I start expanding from there as these keywords that I'm, I'm starting to get more and more keywords and so forth for my campaign. That's usually how I start a campaign. I usually start locally and then grow it to a national campaign. So everything that I do, I start here at zipatlas.com, and you can see here. And we can pick any of these cities. Let's say, for example, we go to Chicago. And one of the things I want to point out to you here in this, this website, there's a lot of data here, but I'm not going to go through all the data with you. But let's just say you want to advertise in Chicago using Google AdWords. Uh, well, you could do that really easily by breaking down the entire city of Chicago by zip code. Like this is a particular zip code. That's another zip code. Let's say, for example, you only want to advertise in this area up here. Well, then you just pick these zip codes that you want to advertise in. And all of pay per call is broken down into zip codes. You want to try to focus your advertising in zip codes if you can. For example, if you're doing that with uh, with Google AdWords, if you're doing call only campaigns like I do, I run a lot of call only campaigns uh, using just zip codes. So we're breaking it down into zip codes. So if we do that, we want to look to see if these people in these particular zip codes can actually afford to call a plumber. So let's take a look at the national, or I'm sorry, the, the average income or what they would consider the medium median income of Chicago. So the median income is $43,808.30 is a uh, medium household income in dollars for the Illinois for Illinois. Uh, so what we're going to look for is anything above that average. I'm thinking those people will be able to afford to call a plumber. Not to say that you know people below that level cannot call a plumber, but I'm just going to uh, pretty much put my money on the folks that are are uh, can afford to call a plumber at the middle of the night and have them come over and fix a leaky faucet, whatever. I'm going to I'm going to hedge my bets, if you will, on the folks that have more money. So what we can do is we can break it down. By median household income in Chicago, Illinois. So now we're going into the city level by zip code. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to go in here and take a look at here's Chicago again. The same thing, all broken down into zip codes. And now we're going to look at the different household and uh, the average income per household. So you can see this zip code here, 6606. Uh, there median income is $100,377 per year, which ranks at 259 in the United States. And we knew that the average Illinois income is about 43,000. So I would say there's probably a good 20 places here or zip codes that I would like to immediately target. Now, I could target more below that level, but these are going to be the ones I'm going to target right off the bat. And this is the population that I'm going to have to work with. So if you, for example, target the top 20, you can you can sum up all these pop this entire population. You'll probably be short of a 500,000 or so people. But now you're you're focusing on people that could potentially afford to call a plumber out in the middle of the night. And once again, that doesn't mean the people below that level can't call it. It just I'm hedging my bets that these people will have the money to do so. So demographically, this is what I, this is how I look at uh, at things. It could be for any type of offer that you're running. You know, uh, it could be for let's say, for example, if you're running a credit rep repair offer or a payday loan offer or electrician offer or whatever. You have to break it down into demographics. You have to understand the demographics of the people you're trying to advertise to. And the way that I do that is I break it down by zip code. And this is just one city in the entire United States broken down by zip codes. And you can really focus in and get that information that you need. Uh, just to give you one other example, let's say, for example, you want to find uh, people that need a payday loan. Well, the fastest way to do that would be to find out where the payday loan areas 
uh, the actual buildings, the brick and mortar payday loan, uh, like CashNet or whatever they're called, Ace Express, are located in the city of Chicago. And that way you can you can target and hyper target, I would say, those areas in and around the the actual brick and mortar buildings. So that's kind of the uh, the very first. I just wanted to show you this quick video and show you how that works. And I appreciate your time. Read my blog.